guess what day it is, everyone? It's Pennywise Day. That's right. Today is September 6th, and It Chapter 2 comes out. That's what we're going to talk about on the Mobile Movie Review. Hey everybody, it's 13th Wolf Band. You know what went out and saw a new movie today? I saw It Chapter 2, that's right. And this is the follow-up to the 2017 film of the same, you know, of the same name, minus the Chapter 2 part. Uh, you know, we get to catch up with uh, the losers. You know, Beverly, Ben, Bill, you know, the Bubba clan. Um, Richie, Mike, Stanley, and Eddie, all grown up as, uh, as adults. And what they're going to do to take on Pennywise the Clown. He'll, played by Bill, uh, by um, William Skarsgård. William Skarsgård does an awesome job as Pennywise the Clown, just like he did the first one. There are scenes in this movie that um, I really dug on how, they, how it looks. There's a scene where Pennywise unhinges, unhinges his lower jaw it's early in the it's early in the, the movie, and you know it's kind of like watching a snake unhinge its jaw and just you know grapple onto like a, a rat or a possum or something and swallow it. And it just looks very very cool. Uh, it was one of those things that I really dug. Some of my favorite scenes in this movie were just the ones where the people were freaking out. The the there's a scene in a Chinese restaurant. If you haven't seen the movie, I'm not giving anything away. But there's a scene where they're all freaking out in a Chinese restaurant, and it, uh, it's to me, it's one of the cooler scenes. And there's a few of those scenes, you know, uh, spe speckled or smattered throughout the film, and they're they're the real high in depth, you know, tension scenes. At least for me, I those are the ones I really dug. Uh, anytime Pennywise was on scene, I dug that too. Now here's something that was really cool. At least I thought it was kind of cool. So we go to the theater today. We we get our tickets. We get our concessions. We go sit down. Movie starts, and about ten minutes into the movie, the house lights start flickering. You know, the, the house the, the lights that they draw that, that they make brighter when it gets when you're ready to leave, and you know make it darker. When, they start flickering, and I thought, oh my god, you know, how cool would this be if this was like a William Castle type thing where they, they've got like a little program into the lights, like every time Pennywise is mentioned or something like that, the lights in, the, the lights in here flicker. Well, it turns out that wasn't the case. Kind of a bummer, but, you know, they, it was so funny too because these lights are flickering on and off and everyone is getting up with the exception of myself and a few other people. Um, they're getting up, they're going back and they're, they're telling the manager that the, the house lights are flickering and they're just kind of like, okay, well, we'll try to take care of it. So for about the first half hour, maybe 45 minutes, while the movie's playing, the house lights will go bright and then go dark. And then like, as soon as they go dark, you know, like about a minute or two after that, they start flickering again. They finally figured it out, you know, about, like I said, it's probably 45 minutes into the movie. They finally got everything all figured out, but it's fine. I, I thought it was just funny. I was hoping it was something to do with the movie, but it wasn't. Um, we have got Bill Hader as as Adult Richie, and he does an awesome job as Adult Richie. Jessica Chastain as Adult Beverly, and uh, who else? Oh, James McAvoy. James McAvoy as, as Adult... Um, Bill and I I just love anything James McAvoy is in just just because he even though I know he's 100% English he does a really good American accent and he gets away with it you know and you never hear that that British accent leak through in a, you know at least I don't you might I mean but I don't 
But this movie is a follow-up. Uh, we follow the losers. You know, they get reunited by Mike um, to come back to Derry and deal with uh, deal with the problem that they kind of left behind 27 years ago. And I love this movie. This movie just it. I'm. I remember reading the book back when it came out. I want to say this book came out in 1986, 87. I was a big Stephen King fan back then. I, I was buying all those books. I was all up to date. And I remember reading uh, it. And it's funny. It's like it's so many years later and I don't really remember the book anymore. I remember little speckles of it, you know, things here and there. But I can't sit down and go, okay, compared to the book, this movie is this. I can't do that because it's just... It's, it's not retained up there right now. I mean, it's one of those things. I read the book once. I didn't sit down and read the book a thousand times to where I, you know, got it memorized. It's not like a movie where I'll watch it a hundred times. But this movie was just awesome all around, if you ask me. I, I loved it. They had tension. Some of, the, some of the effects, I will say that some of the effects were kind of goofy looking. Um, that doesn't take away from the film, you know. I, it, it's Pennywise the clown, so clowns and Goofy go hand in hand, like, like little girls on hula hoops, you know. Kind of like the same thing, but uh, yeah, I, I dug this movie. Um, I can't stop raving about it. I'm gonna give this uh, four chainsaws out of four. Mama Wolf's giving it four chainsaws out of four. I asked her earlier, you know, what she thought of it, and that's what she said. So, this is definitely worth checking out in the theater. I know a couple of people that are going to be over in the East Coast, uh, over in Massachusetts, I believe it is, um, and they're showing it's it parts one and two back to back tonight at a drive-in. That's five hours and four minutes for two movies, because this movie is two hours and forty-nine minutes long. Which is long for a horror film, but it clicks by. It really does. Uh, I, I I dug everything about it. I don't want to say too much about it. I don't want to give too much away. You know, I mean, if you've read the book, you know what it's about. If you've seen the miniseries, you know, back in back in the late '80s, early '90s, you kind of got an idea. But this movie is so much better than the miniseries. With that, always like, subscribe, share, and comment. I want to know what you have to say. When you do subscribe, hit that bell, ring that bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I put something new up. And as always, I am that 13th Wolfman, and I am out here on the prowl. Arrgh!